in the band weight division at UFC Vegas 87. You got Brazilian Vinicius Oliver coming in at 19 and 3, taking on Bernardo So Paul, who comes in at 11 and 2. And believe it or not, this fight is a 50 50 toss up. Now, Oliver stands three inches taller at 5'9. He's 28. So Paul, 23. Uh, and we have a little bit more information on Oliveira than we do so Paul, so we'll get back to him in a moment. Oliveira, 70-inch reach. He's a switch stance fighter, which is always an advantage. Nearly 10 significant strikes per minute, but that's just in one fight. That'll come down. No takedowns just yet. He's had 100% takedown defense in the first fight, which was a KO victory in the first round in just about three minutes at Dana White's contender series over Victor uh, Madrigal. So that's all we have on him. Of course, he's had a long career uh, in MMA before that, going 18 and 3, and then getting the win at the Contender Series. So he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. But so is So Paul, right? He's just 23 years old. Again, 11 and 2. He's on a three fight win streak. So very impressive. So far, he has seven KOs. Uh, three submissions and one decision. So seven KOs in 11 fights. That's impressive. He did lose to uh, Francesco Nuzzi by split decision back in 2021. Before that, he didn't lose since 2018. So he had one close fight, right? But he's won three in a row since then, all by finish. Two KOs, one submission. So, you know, this guy is getting better and better over time. And we don't know enough about either fighter, really. But Oliveira, to me, has a little more experience. At least he fought in this venue before at the Contender Series. So when he's making the walk, it's not going to be a huge crowd, uh, which really doesn't favor either fighter because in a UFC debut in front of a lot of fans, it, that's going to lead to more nerves, but not in this one. They know the cameras are on him, but neither one's going to be so nervous that they can't you know, can contain themselves or it's going to affect the fight. So with that being said, I do like Vinicius Oliveira to get the win just because of the experience, just making his walk in the same venue before that really helps. And we saw what he did in the contender series, getting the KO in three minutes, but keep an, keep an eye on the power. So Paul, you never know. But to me, Oliveira is just slightly better. And he's a switch stance fighter. If he gets in and do a tough fight, looking for his 20th win, he'll get it. In my opinion, 20 and three. After this win, Bantamweight Division, UFC Vegas, 87.